Hello, this is Alison with Pixels and Pills, and we're here today at the Unniched Micro Conference here in Manhattan, and I'm here with Gigi Peterkin from Edelman. We're going to have a little discussion about the Edelman Health Barometer. So, Gigi, tell me a little bit about your data gathering for this survey. Sure, thanks, Alison. This was our third health barometer, and for 2011, we actually did a sampling for over a month. Uh, we talked to people in more than 20 countries around the globe and surveyed over 15,000 people, really looking to uncover the most recent trends in healthcare globally, from public health all the way down through digital engagement. It's a big study. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big study. So, can you help me filter through the information and um, sort of highlight on some of the key findings? Sure. Uh, we just released our data three weeks ago, so we're still bubbling some things up to the surface. But the things that really popped globally, uh, and we're also finding are popping in the big countries around the world, um, are that social is a very big motivator for people when it comes to making health changes and health changes that stick. So for, for example, we talked to folks and one of the questions we asked was, if you had friends uh, in your social circle that had unhealthy behavior, would be, you'd be more likely or less likely to spend time with them. And of the 44% of people who said, it wouldn't really bother me if my friends were exhibiting unhealthy behavior, I'd still hang out, over 53% of our population are considered obese in that group. Whereas the 31% of folks who said, I have stopped or would stop spending time with my social circle if they were unhealthy, um, they tend to have a more healthy weight. They tend to participate in their own health through exercise and other behaviors on a regular basis. They tend to be more digitally engaged. Um, and they also tended to skew younger. So we're seeing that young folks, that 18 to 34 range, are very socially motivated when it comes to both taking charge of their health as well as finding health information online. So you were saying that we could find health information online. So tell us, where can we find the Edelman Health Barometer? If you go to edelman.com, there's a section of the site that is just um, been set aside for the Edelman Health Barometer. That's the technical digital term. Uh, but there's, there's a link for Edelman Health Barometer 2011. And you can also find a lot of information on Twitter. We have an EHB 2011 hashtag. And you could go search that on Twitter and see a lot of the data that's been unveiled to date as well. Thank you for joining us, Gigi. And once again, this is Alice Ann with Pixels and Pills.